Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to start a new series called Kiss Tutorials. And what this means is just keep it super simple tutorials. So all we're going to focus is all our focus is going to be on the eye look and the eye look that we're going to create we're only going to use one palette so one palette for the whole complete look and it's going to be super simple and i'm also going to try and use palettes that don't get a lot of showcase anymore i don't know about you but what happens to me is i watch all these uh videos on youtube and you know and they promote these palettes and we go out and we buy them and then the looks just stop because new palettes start coming out and it's like well wait but i just bought that other palette and now i don't know what to do with it so i'm gonna throw it back today with this first ever video to one of the first high-end palettes that i got and that was the original naked palette i remember at the time when this was like all over YouTube and everybody was talking about Naked, and Naked this, Naked that, and then Naked 2 came out and then Naked 3 and it's like now all of a sudden we don't see a lot of looks using this. So I thought that today would be the perfect day to kick off the series using only this one palette. Uh, so I've got foundation all over my face, which is probably why I look so weird, but I'm going to go ahead and get started on the eye look. And for that, we're going to jump right over to voiceover. To avoid creasing and because I have oily lids, I primed them with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I just went ahead and used my fingers for the application. You can use whatever tools you prefer. To set the eyes, I went in with the Milani Face Powder in Light Medium and using a Real Techniques brush, just spread the powder all over the lid. This is a step that I find helps all the other colors blend nicely, so it is one that I choose to do. Then I took the shade Naked and used it as my transition color and using a Real Techniques blending brush I just ran it slightly above and over the crease not being particularly careful just making sure to blend in the color nicely. To deepen up the crease and the outer V I went in with the shade Buck and I used an e.l.f crease brush for this I just find it to be the perfect size to get right into the crease you want to make sure to blend in order to avoid any harsh lines blending if you ask me is the key to any good eye look so as long as you can blend away you should be able to make anything work for the lid color I decided to use the shade toasted you'll see that i first went in with a brush but i wasn't really getting the color payoff that i wanted so i decided to go in with my fingers instead you can always wet the brush to intensify the color but i wanted to keep it rather neutral and natural since i would be stepping out and i wanted more of an everyday look for liner, I went in with my current favorite, which is the Jessie's Girl Liquid Liner, and I created a small wing. It's a struggle trying to get an even wing on both eyes, but practice is key, right? I just really love the look of winged eyeliner, so it's something that I keep doing, I keep practicing, and I'm hoping eventually it will just become second nature. For mascara, I used the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on the top and bottom lashes. At this point, my camera also stopped recording and I didn't notice until I was done. But all that I did was line the waterline with the NYX Wonder Pencil in medium and ran the shade Buck on the lower lash line. For the lips, I used ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Piranha and then I just went ahead and applied some blush and finished the look off. So that will be it for this kiss tutorial. Let me know if you have any palette requests and I will see you next time. Bye!